Searching podcasts for Dave. And one more time. Beans don't fry in the kitchen. Beans don't burn on the grill. Took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Now we're up in the big leagues. Get now turn that back. As long as we live, it's you and me, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Whatever moving on now. And three. Number two. That's the one. That's the one. And one. Da-da. Da-da. Uh, we always peg it out. It always goes out when we scream. It, yeah, it, it, well, it's, you know, maybe I need to learn to modulate on yeah, that microphone. Uh, same same thing on mine. I don't know what I got. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm Dave. I'm Juan. And what is this? Uh, Dave and Juan. More time. <laughs> <laughs> don't throw it to me man <laughs> back to you in the studio one <laughs> yeah you know that was close enough um so hope everybody's having a good one we're back um so right off the bat let me jump in let me correct a couple of words before they pull my my cajun card um uh, last week i said one of my cousins sent in some words some some uh some down to buy your words and i messed a couple of them up and one of them was kawan so I, I just off the top of my head said I was like an alligator, but silly me, it was pointed out to me that a caimon is an alligator. Ah, man, common right? mistake, common not, mistake. Not caimon, caimon. And now caimon, apparently, according to my buddy Raleigh, and I, I, I knew one, I didn't know the other. He said uh, it means turtle or uh, something that I'm not even going to say. Uh, it's a, it's a, <laughs> It's a part of the anatomy. It's it's a part of uh, yeah, part of, I can if you yeah, you want to compare part, things to a turtle. Part of the anatomy. And he was he was basically saying, you know, if in, people in La Rose think it means one thing, people in Golden Meadow thinks it means something else, which is interesting to me that that would be the case because it's not like they're the, the you know it's a, it's a regional word. <laughs> can't use sorry, man. Golden Meadow and La Rose are not regions. Yeah. That's not you know, you got that dividing line of Galliana and cut off. That's the buffer. <laughs> Yeah, right, you know, right at the bridge. Because you know, in the old days, you had you know the you had a junior high in La Rose, you had a junior high in in uh in uh, Golden Meadow. I guess a high school too. I guess it was Golden Meadow high before. I don't know. I should know South that. South I, yeah, it was South Lafouche, but I don't know that. But I, I think it eventually came together. I, I I I again, I'm putting stuff out there that people are gonna be like, bruh. Yeah, it's all right. How you how you don't know that? This is this just could be you know, you really do know it, but you're just trying to purposely engage the audience. No, no it's called you <laughs> move away and it's 30 something years later. And there are lots of things, you know, there are lots of little things that you, you forget when somebody reminds you of them. You say, oh, yeah, I, sh- I should have remembered that. But, uh, you know, too many, too many miles in between. So I think we got nothing ever changes in Assumption Parish. So <laughs> it's like the day you left it. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> when you left and you say hey y'all don't change y'all don't go changing yeah, now yeah that's right i'll be back in about 40 years y'all don't go changing and they get yeah and we got um well closer to that i was thinking we're just talking about uh universities and stuff and colleges and and uh so i did get contacted from that guy that uh, they're doing a can of shoe yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 50 so i guess is it a, is it a professor that's that's doing that Cause... i think he's the guy who runs the show like he must be over the media um okay because he he said something uh and i'm this i don't uh, shame this bores you guys but apparently so so juan and i's first radio was back at knsu the campus station at Nichols, and they're doing a 50 years 50, 50 year, years um now we weren't there 50 years ago we're not that God, old. i'm surprised you know i'm surprised it's only 50 years really i, I, I was in the 72 dude i guess maybe not i don't know i don't know so anyway i because the guy I wanted to line up, uh, you know, it's kind of, so, so I guess we're going to be on it. I don't know if we can do it yeah. individually or whatever. I think individually, because he asked me if I could do something in person. Yeah, he sounded, uh, yeah. yeah, I think he's trying to split us, man. I just don't yeah, think that's, well, uh, you know what I'm saying? I just, right. I just don't, I just don't think that interview ought to happen separately. Yeah. Yeah. You know, conquering whatever. the we, bike. We man. can see, we can see. 
Yeah, I told him I'd, I'd work because uh, in his thing, he said he's going to be teaching abroad for, and I took that to mean another country and not just. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have to finish the joke. All right. I just, if you, did, if you didn't, there's some jokes you set up and you don't go near the punchline. Yeah. Because yeah. that way yeah. you can always pretend I didn't say that. That's not what I was talking about. There, there were broads in the class when I was there. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey, hey, you start. Hey, there you go, Archie Bunker. There you go. There I've been you go, Archie. All in the family clips lately, man. Really? Yeah. Uh, that that I mean the other it, day I saw. They, they still they, hold up. They, they 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 do. Same thing with Sanford and Son. Like, that's the best. Um, I, I was watching. Well, I say watching. Something popped up. These memes and about how, you know, why why our generation and I don't really know what generation I'm talking about, but um, art has offended men. You think think back in the day we had, when we were kids. What what were you watching on TV, man? You had Archie Bunker. You had Sanford and Son. You had the yeah, Jeffersons. The Jeffersons. You had Good Times. Yep. They've been my favorite show, man. Fat Good Albert time. as a cartoon. But yeah, now Fat Albert covers it. So, but 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 Fat Albert wasn't like openly uh, intentionally. Made fun of fat kids <laughs> and, a, and a stutterer. <laughs> he was. <laughs> yeah, but he, he was, the show was named after him. <laughs> yeah. It's Fat Albert. I'm going to sing a song for you. Remember that? <laughs> Bill's going to tell you a thing or two. When he's not yeah. drunk and women, when we're not looking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Bill, we man. had um, the, it was before our time, but we still had the Three Stooges, which was more violent than any video game out there. And I, I know this makes me um, not, this is not the norm. I, it, in my life, have never enjoyed it. I, I never found a single Three Stooges. Funny. I find them painful to watch. I don't, I mean, not only, I just, I just, they have never made me laugh. I, I'm telling you, I've never seen a single 30 second clip of the St three stooges that I was like, oh, that's good. nothing. It's just, you know, now Abbott and Costello used to crack me up. I used to love Abbott and Costello because, and again, other people thinking, how old are you, man? They played reruns guys, right? It was reruns. It was, it was uh Sunday after church. We get back on Sunday after church and, uh, was it WDSU? One of the one of the stations in New Orleans well, used to New have New Orleans stations. Everything Abbott after had, church they, on Sundays was black had, and white. And they had Abbott and Costello. I think they might have called it Abbott and Costello Theater or something. Every week, every Sunday, they played a different Abbott and Costello movie. It was great. Love, I love, I love that. Um, well, but anyway, yeah. Now here's what else I realized. I can't tell you a single. Well, maybe I could, I would know the names just because they're sort of you know they're ubiquitous and. I don't watch a single thing on network TV. Nothing. Like I dawned on me the other day. I don't when watch there was, much. There was somebody on TV doing something and it said who she was from or what, what show she was on. And I'm like, I, I don't even know. The name. I don't even know that show. That's a hit. Supposedly a hit show on ABC. Really? So what you're saying is now the battle of the network stars would not be appealing to you. Not me. I'd be looking at a bunch of strangers. I'd be, I'd be, if you had the battle of the network stars today, I, I don't know. What am I looking at? Don Lemon, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jake Tapper. Now I'd pay money to see those yawns. I yeah, I'd love to see. Wouldn't you love to see Jake Tapper try to throw a football? I mean, come on, oh, boy. come on, come on. Yeah, but anyway, so that that's um, we got a little, little side sidetrack there. But um, other things going on this week. It's hot, bruh, bruh. One of those, right? <laughs> that's that's the right answer, man. That's hot, bruh. Bro, it, it, it it's one of those and and we're we live in the south so we're not supposed yeah, to I've lived here my whole life we're not supposed to be this is what's funny too the friends that uh would come visit at other times of the year and talk about how hot it is it's like yeah you don't you don't know and um but this is i think this is even early i don't think it's supposed to well, be this hot I know. Right every day when i leave work now i check the temperature so i could see the the um what do you call it? They call it the field like temperature now. Field like, uh, field heat. like. It's over. It's like 105. Oh yeah, yeah. We didn't have field like temperatures when we were young. No man. It was, all the things we got robbed of. They said, bro, it's only it's only like 98. Feels like 110. <laughs> feels feels like the face of the sun is what it feels yeah. like. Um, but we've got so we're doing this on a Friday afternoon. It's a it'd be uh I think it's gonna hit a hundy here today. <sighs> Go hit a hundy on Saturday. Going to hit a hundy on Sunday. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, a little bit next week. And then I think the next weekend, they're calling for the same thing. It's like, come on, y'all. Yeah. And when I it's hot like this, I mean, gosh, I just don't. 
we're actually going, a, a friend of ours, brother passed away and they've got just a service for him this evening. And I'm to the point where I said, I said, it's too hot, man. I'm just going to what I'm wearing. I'm going to jeans. I don't care. I'm not putting on anything nice. <laughs> Any tailgating? No, no, it's not. It's not like, no, but they, they are. There might be a, um, a Harley ride from someplace to the, to the service. There you go. And they are encouraging people to dress in Harley gear. Whoa, so you go, man. You, you could wear your evil shirt right there. Oh, yeah. Evil. Yeah, bro. I wore this one time before. I was, I, I was slapping on a shirt. Uh, I went to the, uh, yeah, I, I took a shower a while ago. I went going to the gym this morning just because, I don't know, just just because I wanted to get some multiculturalism today. We have that. We have, uh, so like, you know, living in, well, you've got it too, I know. Uh, but we are the most, uh, uh, Fort Bend County is the most diverse county in the country. And it's, I, I, sometimes I try to keep track of the language, the different languages I hear. And I was realizing today that um, there's some languages that just sound angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it, the, the, you don't German know it sounds mean. Well, yeah. And I, there's one, and I'm not even going to go to there because I, I'll say something that's going to be unintentionally, um, uh is it xenophobic i don't know but I, I i would i have a rough guess to the part of the planet uh one of these accents and and there's these two ladies there today uh and i they could have been talking about ordering lunch or who they gonna kill when they get out of the gym i mean it's like it's, it's and i didn't I, I can't even follow it they say english is a hard language to learn and i guess it is but whatever they were saying i that can't be easy well, I think English is the hard language to learn because it makes, you know, like the, the, the verb conjugation makes no sense. You know, silent letters. You know. Bro, I grew up in cutoff. You think I can conjugate some words? <laughs> Give me a break, man. Yeah, we skip the TH. To this it's, day, I tell you this all the time. I probably said this before. My sister, Ann, who's an English, you know, I think, I don't know, she's got so many masters, I can't count them, but she's, uh, but I'll say that. I, I still don't know what a gerund is. <laughs> I know. Or, I know. No. I had honors English, dude. I know I've taken, I know I've taken multiple tests in my life. Dude, was I've spent years where the primary thing that I did for my work would write. Right. And I couldn't diagram a sentence to save my life. Oh, I can diagram a sentence. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I, <laughs> well, uh, I, I know the what's right. Nouns and the verbs. I can't tell you what's wrong. Nouns and the verbs, you know, not like if you action words though. Not oh, verbs. You know, but if you watch like uh, Shawshank Redemption and when uh, Andy's teaching the guy that looks like Elvis uh, how to read and write, he's the guy that eventually gets killed at the end. I could, I mean, he was, he's breaking down the sentences. I could, that's a level I'm on. I, when he was doing that, I'm like, you know, and I've written about 2,000 columns in, in the last 25 years. <laughs> yeah, but you and should I'm know here. what a gerund is. I got, I got a, I, I got a monthly column in a, in a national publication. And I, yeah, I got, I'll, I'll look, I need to, I need to commit. I think now yeah, I'm I don't mind. even have a clue to, to come close to guessing what a gerund is. Yeah. Oh, hang on a sec here. My apologies to Jim Hogue. If he's got his uh, phone on. Uh, hey, Siri. Hmm? What's a gerund? Here's an answer from Wikipedia. A gerund, D-R-N-D, and D-abbreviated G-R is any of various non-finite verb forms in various languages, most often, but not exclusively, one that functions as a noun. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> gerund is any of, oh, man, I blew it. Oh, I press the screen. I go back and on. Yeah, I just, there you go. It functions as a noun. So do yeah. I. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that, yeah. Uh, we cleared that up. I, and I don't know why I'm stuck on that. I think, I think at this point I've got a passive aggressive brain. So like I can remember lyrics from songs and stuff from, right. You just, there are things you just remember. You have no, and not even that just random conversations or random observations from child that, that can stick with me. That's stuff that I've actually had to take tests on. And it's like somewhere my brain has said, we are, we are not going to remember what that it's is. It's what you've experienced versus what you learned, I guess. I don't know. Professor Juan, dude, you need to teach a class, man. Yeah, yeah. It requires effort. <laughs> it does. It does, man. I had a three-hour session this last week. It was, uh, it was good. But, uh, man, I, was well, I saw the pictures. They all looked pretty much awake. Well, that was me. That was the introduction. That wasn't even me. 
<laughs> I, took, I took that picture from the back of the room. Oh, I got some good stuff. I got some real good comments after, which is always, like I said, it's always bizarre world to be up there and <laughs> like, man, y'all got to listen. It's what I, one of the things, I, the first time I did this, but um, I didn't even know what I was thinking about. It was three hours. And it's, it's weird. It's like, it's three hours. Right. And, and it, it, it seems like a ton of time, but uh, you know, so that's not, it's not really, I mean, heck our podcast goes about an hour. So, I mean, mm -hmm. just, um, but I did that. I, um, I figured out, I looked online and you know, what the average, uh, the average life expectancy, uh, life expect expectancy, see the words don't even work anymore, uh, in America and, uh, Texas, if you live in Texas, it's like right in the middle. I think Texas is the 25th and I forget what they, I think in Texas, the average life expectancy expectancy, that's a lot easier to, how long do you expect to live? <laughs> well, yeah, but now, now, now I'm going to, I'm going to conquer that word now. <laughs> expectancy. There you go. That's the Cajun man. I, I realize that's something that, that's that I do expect. Yeah, that's something. And it's re I realize it's something that I, I have to be careful when I'm getting speaking with other groups, I'm speaking faster and faster, is that you know what I'm saying. Don't, yeah, don't, I make, gotcha. don't make me hit all the syllables. <laughs> Expectancy is probably hard because, you know, the, the Cajun part will drop that T off on the end. Expectancy, uh, you know, expectancy. But, but then you got to hit it to throw NC on the backside. I don't know. I don't know what I'm hitting and not hitting, but that that's... Um, Anyway, how long you expect to live there, bro? So in, in uh, Texas, it's like 78 years. And so I, what I did is I had a, a chart. Um, you know, here's the, how many hours that is. It's like 600 something thousand hours, whatever it is. Wow. They said, everybody talks about how many years you have to live. Everybody talks about days. Let's look at the hours. And, I'm just, and then I have a list. Like, and if, so if you're, 50, if, you're, if you're 25, you got this many hours left. If you're 30, you got this many. And I go all the way to like my age, 56. Right. And man, like I'm under 200, according to the norm. Right. And I hope to go buy it, but by the average. So that's what I told him. I said, so here's the deal, guys. We got, no, you got more than 200 hours. Thousand, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Well, hey, it's going to be a last podcast. I don't hey, know. Well, well, you know, hey, make it a good one. Go yeah, be better get this thing edited before Sunday. Oh, Lord. <laughs> got to get on that right now. No. So, um, it could be longer. Hope it's longer. That's the average. And it was funny because a lot of the folks in the class were from Texas. All right. But then, uh, I said, no, no, this is Texas. I said, so any, and so I had like, a, I think I had a couple of Louisiana, maybe some Alabama, some other States. <laughs> I said, the bad news is you guys are less than this. <laughs> I said, it's Texas. North Baton Rouge is like 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And what I tell, what I tell them is, uh, so here's the, here's the deal. At the end of this class, there'll be three less hours on everybody's list. So my goal is that at the end of time, when you whenever your time is done and hope it's a long time from now that you don't look back over your life and say, man, that was the worst three hours. <laughs> I, I want you to at least be able to say, well, no, they had that time I had kidney stones. Yeah. And there's that time yeah. that you know, at the least neighbor, yeah. If, at, at least fourth on the list. That's right. I said, I'm shooting. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting to be somewhere above kidney stones. Let's have some fun. And, uh, that's kind of funny to see who gets that. And most of them, do. they all get laughed and then you start. And then, you know, I'm 15 minutes in before people realize, Oh wait, this is a banking class. <laughs> but see, I always joke you know, or think about, you know, everybody looks forward to Friday and the weekend. So in essence, you're just looking forward to, you know, a week blowing away which gives you one less week to live. That's one way to look at it. Look at it. TGI Fridays, everybody. <laughs> you got one less, you got one less there week to live. That's why we tell people, make it the best, man. Yeah, make it every day, every week. Get out there and get on it. Make it, make it a fantastic week, but it, it'd be a hot one. And um, <laughs> cause, cause if you needed any other uh, uh, evidence of my, um, random stupidity so i'm thinking you know it's hot and i know the attic is my attic is incredibly hot. everybody's attic is incredibly hot and so you go in the attic oh yeah yeah i was in the attic um so now my our attic is from i'm, I'm, I'm upstairs right now and uh -huh. go, go out of our game room and there's another set of stairs it's behind a door but it's just another set of stairs that goes up so it's almost like a third floor but it's not, it's not a full floor. It's just, but that's where the, uh, you know, water heaters and all the stuff yeah. are. You know? Yeah. And, uh, man, you can start going up that the stairway and like you get about halfway up those stairs 
and it feels, you know, not, not, not terribly, terribly hot. You get about like another six, seven feet into, man, it's so hot. It's crazy, crazy hot. And in the old days, see, this is again, if, if, if I haven't talked about this in a while, we mess up everything now. People are idiots. Uh, our, our, our predators, you know, our, our ancestors and, you know, fathers and mothers and grand, they, they built stuff right. Like houses used to have the turbines, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, yeah. <clears throat> Cause those things work, right? Those, those things, those things actually work. They will ventilate. Um, they will ventilate an attic now everywhere. And I guess it's code. You know, do you, you have, you probably don't have that on your house either. Right. When we had our house re-roofed, um, I don't know, sometime in the last 10 years. Now it's just like a little strip on top of the house. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's really lets the heat out bull. Okay. It doesn't, it's, it's terrible. It doesn't, uh, to the point of I have, I've had plumbers, uh, when it gets uh, hot, cause all of it now, it's not a Louisiana thing. You don't have your, you don't have your water heaters and in, in, we never had a water heater in the attic in, mm. in Louisiana. No, no house. Yeah, I ever No, had. no, we didn't. I mean, the, the, I've owned houses with it in the attic. Right. Yeah. No house I've ever owned in, in uh, Louisiana uh, or in Georgia even uh, had a water heater in the attic. Well, in Texas, that's what they do. So I got two water heaters up there. Mm -hmm. Well, after after the house was re-roofed years ago, you know, we got a especially hot, uh, hot uh, uh, spe heat spell. Um, the water heaters would go off. Off. It got too hot in the attic. Right. So, so why mean, are they going off? Because Just because your water safety? heaters have that, yes for safety, right? And I had a plumber tell me, man, have the houses in Sugarland are having issues because it's so hot. Never have them before, but that's the stupid new design, right? That's like everything, everything. Whenever they throw a new rag at you, so I got a long story to get to. So I'm thinking, part of the problem is the air doesn't, you know, it, it, there's nothing pushing the air out. Yeah. Right. And um, I had a guy that talked about putting a, like a vent, you know, but I'm like, I don't want to cut into my, right. <laughs> you know, you just ask him for trouble. Yeah. It's like, dang it. I thought it was two inches, just one and three quarters. Uh, so I have, uh, I'm a fan guy. I got fans everywhere, man. I got, you know, big fans, industrial fans. And I've got one of these, uh, these, I guess it's a blower, you know, like a floor blower kind uh -huh. of deal. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 those things move some air. Yeah. So I was like, Bet you if I get that up in my attic and I figure out a way to kind of get it lifted up and pointed up toward the, uh, you know, those, that stupid non-working vent. Yeah. You know, let's see. So I decided that's what I'm going to do. Now, why I decided to do it at four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know, which <laughs> might be. Uh, but then once you're up there just sweating like, and I realized, I don't know why I'm going to the gym. I love going to the sauna at the gym. I've got one here. Yeah. And what am get, I doing? Get you a good chair up there. Dude. <laughs> I got a chair up there. <laughs> I do. I, you got two. I got two chairs. You got to have a chair in case you get weak when it's so hot. I stand on that chair. I do all kinds of stuff. My wife would probably not want me, but I'm I'm, I'm careful. Uh, I can't get too high up there. It's not, you know, it's it's just yeah. it's there's 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 the roof. But uh, so man, I'm up in the end. I so I get a I got a uh, uh, a, a timer, uh, electrical timer. You know they got you know like, yeah. Be wrong. Got that thing set to kick on. Looking at, all right, I got some wood. I got some, and I'm, you know, I'm the king of, I save stuff. I save boards. I save, right. There's like the junk drawer, man. I got a, I got a junk area of the garage. I said, I bet you I got a couple planks that'll fit across this right here. And then I rig it all up and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, we'll see it. I think it's working. I know it's blowing. I don't know if it's doing, um, the, the, the fans going to fall off the rig and then come through your ceiling. Uh, that'll make the podcast if that happens. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it, I don't want to jinx it. I don't think it can. I got like a wood, I got a wood floor up there. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. not zip tied you know, down or something. Yeah. I zip tied tape up. It. You just sit, nah, I just sitting. It's, it's good. Shh, it's there. Also made me realize you know, the older your house gets and our house is probably 30, I don't know, 30, 35 years old. Whenever they, whenever they built this neighborhood and I, we got more wires in the attic that don't belong to nothing anymore. Right. Yeah. right, you know how things, phone lines, cable, like how many different cable companies we must have had up here. They just did not want to use the old ones. I mean, well, I know people who change. They get satellite service and they change the service, but they never take down the other disc. Oh, I've got look. I got a satellite dish, probably uh, twenty feet from me. Um, 
Because guess what? It poked a hole in the, uh, I think I got one up there too. I, 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 I got Speaking one. of the people who do that. I got two. I got one way up top of the house and they won't even go up. They won't even service them anymore. They changed it. And that's what happened. That's why it's up there because they used to take them down. Um, but they won't even work on them anymore. Uh, that might've been the case. Like, like the guy came and uh, some, something happened in their policy is they won't let uh, their text stand on a roof anymore. Yeah. Well, go figure. They hook one up. I mean, right near the end, they got a ladder propped up, uh, propped up against whatever roof they're working on. Oh, so it's got to be on the edge. They got to be on the edge. They won't let them, um, which is bizarre, because I'll get plumbers out here. Plumbers crawl all over the roof up there. It's funny. You never, you never think a plumber, like, what well, you know, what's your job? Oh, a plumber. And I spend a lot of time on a roof. They do. Yeah, all those vent pipes. Oh, man. I didn't realize that. I was like, golly. I guess those guys, you know, they earn their, they earn their money. Yeah, about you know, about a year or so ago, when my dad was having trouble with his sink, so he went up on the roof and stuck a hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, stuck the garden hose in one of the things, and we're and, doing that, and and turned it on. Uh, went down the house with water shooting all over the place. Didn't work. Nah, nah. But shooting yeah. out, of, shooting out of where? Out of the sink, I think. Oh, I, I messed up the other day. We we talked. You know, this is this is the uh, the, the Dave and Juan home repair segment we um guest bathroom or yeah i guess downstairs the the one everybody uses right how my thing we moved into this house we have four people living in here and i was like man i want one toilet for everybody i grew up i grew up in a family of six with one bathroom one toilet and i was always like man i just want to get to a point where if it all happens if we all have an issue everybody got a place <laughs> to be everybody got a place to be um, so it's, it's, so normally if it'd be one of our other bathrooms that a toilet go bad, eh, I use another one, but it's the one downstairs right near the, you know, coming the, the in the convenient one, Yeah, the convenient one that everybody uses. So I, uh, and that's the same thing we had to, we it ended up coming to all kinds of work, but before they, before I realized that I was thinking, you know, maybe it's the, it's not flushing right and whatever. And maybe it's the, um, the vent. You know, I know that happens sometimes. The vents get clogged, mm -hmm. it is whatever. And I'm like, eh, I can do this. So the way it's, it's figured, I can get out on the roof. It's not very dangerous, the, this part here. And, uh, that, that was hard getting the shop back. I got a big shop back. So I should have filmed this because you'd have just, you'd, 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 have, you'd have got a lot of entertainment out of watching me crawl out the window of the, of the, uh, of the game room. I got the shop back outside on the roof with me. Leaning over to the vent pipe, right? Not yeah, shop back's not easy to, you know, it's, it's, it's not an easy thing to, to no, maneuver with. No, they're not. They didn't get that part down. They're great. They're, they're one of the best wedding gifts you could ever give a couple, by the way. We've done that a few times. That's literally somebody's brand new getting off, you know, start to get them a shop back. Shop backs are, I've had the, you know, 10 years. I can't tell mm -hmm. you the stuff we use it for. So anyway, I'm leaning over, sucking stuff out. I'm like, oh, there, there better be some water. I mean, I think I'm, doing some good right and i'm like well let's see go downstairs i don't know flush still not flushing thankfully it's clean water flush all right you know what i'm gonna do it's probably i probably loosened up whatever it is i went up there i reversed it i'm gonna blow that thing out all right oh yeah i can tell i blew that out i went back downstairs thank god my wife wasn't home <laughs> You blew it out, huh? I blew it out. <laughs> like, oh, I need some towels. Oh, oh I, wow. didn't, I didn't think that out well. Yeah, yeah, the walls, everything. And where does it come through? The toilet. Okay, so oh, it splashes back up. Yeah, and like I said, it was no, it was clean by that time. I'd put bleach down. I'd put, I mean, trust me, that but by, by the time I did that, thankfully, th th I got lucky there. By the time I did that, the cleanest thing on the first floor must have been that toilet because it had been, <laughs> it had more chemicals and and nobody had used it in in you yeah. know a long time because it was giving me issues but uh, yeah I, I even told that to the plumber he laughed he goes yeah yeah and he said i can see what he did but you know he might have just been a good guy you know he just didn't want to make me feel too stupid he goes i could see your logic i could see what you were doing <laughs> i could see what you were uh you were or doing. like thereof yeah yeah but um Anyway, he was saying, hey, as long as you didn't mess it up, so that it cost you more, you're good. This is true. This is true. But uh, yeah, let's see. So what else is going on? Oh, 
and I recommend everybody do. We talked a lot about Top Gun, the new, the new Maverick, mm -hmm. last week. Last night, just on a whim, doing whatever, sitting in the living room, wife. But we ended up watching the first one again. Yeah, the, uh, we watched the original again. I think it's better. I think the original yeah, yeah. is better. Yeah, I, I, I here, but here's what I will tell you this, and I will tell anybody: it, it's a good movie in its own. Watch the second movie. Go, watch Maverick, which is a, it's a, it's a, it's a solid movie. Mm -hmm. And then go back and watch. It's really because like it's nostalgia. It's like watching the first right, one. Right, that's what I said. The first one, it it was, it makes the second one more valuable. You appreciate it more because they've got all of those, you know, not direct throwback, but it's like, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and my wife loves Tom Cruise so much. I mean, maybe even more than she loves new kids on the block. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> You know, after about like the fifth time, she's like, oh, he's so good. I'm like, okay, I know. I know he's good. You just uh, like him. I get it. But you also realize that there was no, there's never been a character cooler than Val Kilmer, Iceman on the original Top Gun. No, no. Right? And you just realize that every time he's on, every time he's on the screen, every time he's on the screen, I don't care if Tom Cruise is on the screen. Yeah. Val yeah. Kilmer. <laughs> That's the best. That little bite. You know that that wasn't in. That was nothing. That wasn't in a script. That was just something he did. A bizarro little bite that everybody. That that and it's funny. These days, the uh, well now the now the ladies will watch the um, the uh, volleyball scene for their own reasons. It's comical, man. It's comical watching that volleyball scene now. Like the poses they're doing. It's just bizarro, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> it was like. Uh, there was a comedian or somebody years ago that pointed that out and became a thing where they said, you know, Top Gun was not made for, <laughs> you think it was made for the ladies. It wasn't made for the ladies. It was, you know, there's another, um, another group of people that were far more interested in watching Top uh, Gun. I got yeah. you on that. Yeah. yeah. I just um, love, I just love Top Gun. Uh, you know, Tom Cruise is all of like five, four, five. Oh five. yeah. He's a little bitty fella. He's really dominating. He's spiking the ball in volleyball. Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding? The, you the volleyball thing that's still, and again, I've only, I've, yeah, I rewatched it before we saw uh, Maverick, but that whole thing of diving in the sand, all sweaty. And then putting your T-shirt on to leave, right. I'm like, dude, that gives me the free songs right there. <laughs> Just like, oh, that got to be uncomfortable, man. Play, play <laughs> with the boys. Da -da -da -da. Other thing that came out. Other thing that going back to the original Top Gun makes you realize, man, Kenny Loggins is just that dude. I mean, he's the man. He's on. He's under. Yeah, he became the soundtrack guy. He's he's underappreciated. He's underappreciated. That that. The soundtrack. Now he didn't. I don't think he did you know, my, my favorite songs on there, which is just a dum, sounds like a Taco Bell commercial. No, dum, and then I'm not gonna go down that path again. We did that all last week, but yeah, it's good. It was it was it was actually more enjoyable. Yeah. Um, what was it on? Uh, we we're talking before about uh, oh, uh, it, resumes and uh, interviews and. Yeah, man, we had a, a job fair at work this week, and it's the um, not for any, yeah, it's not for executive level or white collar level positions, and it's hard out there to find people, to find qualified people who want to work. But then it gets, you know, like I'm not good at the whole thing of, of you know telling somebody, oh, bro, you're not qualified for this by <laughs> any stretch of the imagination. Uh, <laughs> what part? What part of the job requirements? Do you think you meet? Yeah. Let's start. Let's start with that. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was one guy who I swear, you know, we've gone through the requirements and he would basically tell me, I don't have any experience in that, but, and then he'd tell me why I could do it. You need to and, put him in sales. You need to yeah. put him in sales. At some point you have to say, dude, I, gotta, I don't even know what your qualifications are, but you, you lie well enough to yeah. be put in sales. Oh, um, the, and wouldn't stop talking where well, I'm just trying to get, you know, go talk to somebody else. You know, you got multiple people interviewing here, go, go for one of the other positions. Uh, so I just casually asked how comfortable he was with technology. I mean, guys, you know, my age, maybe, maybe more. Um, <laughs> and oh, bro, uh, let me tell you something. My last job, I updated my computer to windows 10. To 10. To 10. To 10. And you know, I didn't need any help. <laughs> so, well, you're hired. Take my job. 
am I, am I, is it just me or like, don't you have to stop it from up? <laughs> yeah, I've been, man. I've been fighting. I got a big desktop over here. I've been fighting off 11 forever. I don't know what happens every now and then I get a full screen. It's just really pushing me on 11. I got to find, I don't want 11. Maybe I should. I don't know. I just don't try. And I, that possible oh, blip in the action brought to you by my continued forgetfulness to upgrade the stupid zoom, but uh, screw that man. Take it for free. As long as you can. <laughs> We got a break in the middle. That's break right. In the middle. Well, yeah. yeah. so I don't know where it got cut off. So the dude was impressive because he he had, he had upgraded his computer. He to, had upgraded his computer 10. to yeah to Windows uh, ten, and yeah, I don't know. I I, I make fun, but I do feel bad. Um, but not bad enough to yeah say come on over here and work with me. Well, David Wan's career advice to anybody out there would be have rich parents. <laughs> Otherwise, we just we just swinging out here, man. We're just yeah. you know, just yeah, that yeah, helps. I, th I, I think <laughs> I told helps. this story before. The um, <laughs> we were on a cheer trip one time with my daughter, and we're staying in a hotel. Uh, this is five four years ago, uh, and her phone rang, and you could tell she had an awkward look on her face. And I said, "Well, who was that?" And the she said, "Nobody." I said, "Who was that?" And it was the, a little kid, last name is Siraj. Well, his family owns Community Coffee. Um, Hello. And he's in. Hey. He, Hello. The, the son's in her class. Hey, we, said, we keep I said, them I'll guys leave. in I'll leave the room right now. You just tell me when you want me to come back. I'll go downstairs in the lobby. Yeah, uh, you have a conversation as long as you want. Oh, it's so classy. Yeah. Hey, ho. Hey. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, you don't want to te technically, you don't want to encourage that, um, but you wouldn't stop it. No, it, w it wouldn't hurt. I kid it. I kid it with my son. If, if he, you know, if he ends up going to, uh, you know, moving and being different, I'm, I'm going to give you a list of the last names that you need to. <laughs> People to avoid. I'm not, well, yes, yes, yes. Here's some names. Do a little deeper dive. Do a little deeper dive, and 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 and, and something like, oh, if there's a there's a handful of names, like, oh yeah, man, just if the name if the name is on a building, yeah, yeah that's a good name. <laughs> Might uh, here's what's funny. I got a text from my, so this part isn't funny. My my, my wife, I, I I I I've been teasing her about this. So she so her car is new, the newest one in our in mm -hmm. our. I think Your it's fleet. the newest one. And, and the, yeah, newest one in the fleet. It's a nice car. She likes it. It's not fancy. It's not a, it's, it's, but you know, but she takes care of it. She's one of these people and, and she, she'll park it. It's annoying. We got to park, right? She's still at that stage where we can't park conveniently. We got to park right somewhere else in the parking lot, you know, where nobody's going to park front, you know, near, near the end where they, nobody can park on this side. So still playing that game. And I'm like, ah. There's still like, a couple orange cones in the trunk. And I was just... like, boo, come on, man. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, my, you know, I had a buddy that said that one time. He said, when you buy a new car, they ought to just let you look at it, take some pictures, then walk out with you to the car and put a couple of dings in it right there. <laughs> You're good. Just to take that off the plate, just to say, hey, now go live your life. Go park your car everywhere without, but it's okay. So she, so again, I, I get annoyed, but I love, so at work the other day, at work, She's probably and she probably parked away from where other people would park. I guess the lawn crew threw something. Ding the rock. Cracked her windshield. Big old crack. I don't know what the heck hit, but but uh, so that's where she is right now, getting her windshield changed. And uh, so I just saw the text. I, don't, I know I'm not getting all kinds of stuff, but I, I wasn't. But she says, and then oh, here's the other thing. I'm gonna tie this in put a pin in this one because this is one of these stories i'm telling a story like my dad told the story and i can't help that <laughs> it's like i start and there's a tributary we're gonna go off this yeah. way for a little while yeah. and oh, eventually meet back up at the oh, uh, at the mouth oh, of the river oh oh that reminded me of this hang on wait hold that he's doing me all the time you know that you, oh, you don't know who that is so he has to tell you their whole backstory yeah let, let me tell you who they are they're not even they're not even really part of the story but the fact you didn't know who he was talking about all right so i'm gonna do all right so um, Bucky's apparently we've been joking about this, that we can't go to Bucky's anymore um, for a weird reason. Going back to Louisiana, um, I don't know, sometime the last within the last year, give or take. 
and I get out to get, to get gas and I had AirPods. Uh, I remember that. Okay. Fell out. All right. Bounced out. I lost an AirPod. Okay. Got it. But I still got it. I still got one that works and I use it for various things, but right. So for Christmas, I guess, or whatever, I got my wife, uh, the expensive ones, the, whatever the new ones are, uh -huh. uh, the, the max, blah, blah, the pro blah, plus whatever. Okay. You know, and it's typical. Like my wife's like, don't spend that much money on whatever. I'm like, okay, what? So I can buy some, some, some cheap crap you don't want or yeah. she, well, she loves them. Game changer. We're going to, we're going to, uh, she came with me for a couple of days up to Dallas the other day to, to, to SMU. Halfway there, she, she has like a, you know, dress on, so sundress, whatever. And she just pat it in her lap. And apparently when she got out of uh, the car at Bucky's, didn't see, she lost it. She lost an, air, uh, uh, an earbud. And I'm like, what are the odds that both of us, months apart? Maybe in the same pump. No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't even the same Bucky's. Okay. So then, so we realized this when we we're already almost in Dallas and there's just no, you know, it's just impossible. Long way. So she's checking on it. It's still showing up at Bucky's. Right. So we come all so and then so we were only there a day. So I went, we did the deal, did, taught my class on the way back, driving down it, the, the Madisonville, Texas. Look it up on a map. Madisonville, Texas, Bucky's. That's the place that had the uh, I mentioned the uh, the mullet convention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could have had one this time, too. And it's still showing up as uh, as, as being there. So I guess I can't still be in the parking lot because it had been crushed. It had been whatever. So looking all over. And she goes in there and asks the, the girl, you know, that work in the counter. If it, oh, yeah. And she, and she comes out with an air, but somebody else's. It was the same one. It was the same, like, you know, so it wasn't. Yeah. Somebody else lost an air, but there. So what? So, so then it's like, is the annoying thing. Okay. It's still showing up. It's showing up as being here, but it's not that one. And we must've wasted 20 minutes walking around. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, and I don't even know how to work that whole, you know, find my whatever. You no, know, she did. And then she, she had to make an appointment with Apple, the Apple store to get a replacement. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you can, you can replace them, but they're like, they're like 90 bucks to replace, yeah. just to replace one. And, uh, she had, a, she had a funny story by going into the Apple and, the, and then getting in there. Cause that's how the Apple store works. Right? You make, you have to make an appointment now. That's right. Yeah. And you go in there and she had, yeah, I mean, even just not even for the repairs just to talk to him yeah and she was said and then she went in there for whatever and she said well you have the wrong kind of appointment she's like what do you mean the wrong kind of appointment i need to buy another airpod no you need a service appointment i don't want service i need another would you get a service yeah <laughs> here, <laughs> here can you can you fix this can you fix air i just i need another you know so uh anyway she just texted that she so she's getting her windshield changed right now and it wasn't working so she was getting ready to go back to apple and i'm like i think oh. you got to do a, i think you got to do a reset on that you and she was like, pair it. I don't, I don't know. Well, I, yeah. And, and, and she's like, well, they didn't tell me that. I'm like, well, you didn't deal with the experts. <laughs> I mean, aren't they what, or genius, right? That's what the they call genius them. bar. The genius. So she, she, she texted me just now. AirPods work. Thanks for the tip. I was going to go to Apple today. These AirPods are a game changer. I'm sitting in the lobby surrounded by what I would imagine are annoying people. <laughs> and I only hear Dave and one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Speaking what episode, of annoying people. <laughs> I don't know what exactly. Different kind of annoying people. A different kind. Dude, so, Joey and I went to lunch a little while ago. Um, this little, I mean, good burger place, just dive where it's like a bar and a restaurant uh, and people in there in the middle of the day getting tanked. Um, <laughs> That's oh, good for me. Look, I love yeah. those places. Yeah. So first, yeah, I'm eating my burger and I need a new Dr. Pepper. And you walk up to the counter uh, to get it. Well, as I'm leaning to go, I see this girl that I know from, from Nichols, uh, and she's friends with my sister-in-law was a loud mouth drunk when we were in school and is a loud mouth drunk now. And I'm like, I am not going up there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm like parched and it's like, well, you, you could tell she was trying to leave. So it took her a good eight minutes to get out of the place. Um, so wait, wait, you needed, you, you I need needed a, refill a refill on my drink and she but you didn't go want, to the bar. You didn't want to, you didn't want to enter into the orbit that would have you. Right. Right. Cause I, I had to stand up there and talk to her. The, um, babe, you know how much I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. I'm that much, bro. I'm, I'm not even finishing my lunch. I'm over here sucking on ice. <laughs> not to talk melt. to you. Uh, this is a girl who the first time I saw her 
in a gazillion years. Uh, she was at my sister-in-law's and my father-in-law was there. And this girl tells him, I'm sure I've talked about that before. She said, Juan and I were like so good friends in college. We really weren't. Um, <laughs> we used to do everything together, but we never slept together. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, thanks for clearing that up. Whew. Yeah, I don't think anybody was thinking that. And... Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what everybody was going for. So <sighs> appreciate you. <laughs> so we put a pin in something on the tributary of the river and i forgot what it was in i think we went back to it the, the pin was that my wife was getting her hip oh okay uh, all, right. all right bro i don't know i put pins everywhere <laughs> i can't hang on i'm gonna come back to that it might not be today i'm gonna come I'm gonna, i might text you later yeah. oh bro yeah. i know yeah, we off the air i know we off the air but i want to finish this because it's just bothering me Speaking about bothering me on the way back. So there's a, there's a gap between uh, Dallas and Houston. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's sometimes you can pick up an Austin station. And when I'm in a, uh, a rental car, I, I don't I don't get the serious. Uh, uh -huh. I just listen to you know, either FM AM. Terrestrial it, radio. Yeah, it's either like, yeah, it's either uh, some country comes in and out. That's it. Country dominates. Everything's a country station. But uh, so I'm thumbing through and there's a finally there's a, like a classic rock station. Okay, first of all, the fact that Bon Jovi is now classic rock is just wrong. <laughs> and I'm not even trying to hate. It's like, oh, that's so we, we need another category, right? No, classic. We got to cut it off with like Eagles and beyond, you know, like Zeppelin and whatever. Anything uh, after 74. You know, listen, man. Okay, the other thing. Give them the 77. The other thing, it starts playing stuff, and I realize. And let me start off by saying, total respect. I've actually paid to see Bon Jovi a couple of times. Uh, one show was like when they were, it was it was the New Jersey tour back in the day at their at their, their at their zenith. Good show, entertaining, right? It was what it was. Saw them at the rodeo one time. Not that not that uh, not that good. And uh, I have total respect for the amount of money, and that they can still sell out tours. I will go back to this again. They are the worst songwriters. <laughs> my God, I mean, so we we said I said this one time song I hate. You said, "Oh, I like that you like." Um, uh, living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. Well, yeah, living on a prayer. I can take. Is. I'm a cowboy. I hate yeah. that song. I love that. Well, song. the other one I forgot about. It came on. I'm listening, and I made myself suffer because I knew I was like I made myself suffer thinking I gotta hear this song again to see if it's still as awful as I remember it. And it is, <laughs> I'll be there for you. I oh, don't. No. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh man. Listen, it's like these a, five it, words I'll say to you, dude, it's like, it's like, and I realized this, this was probably at their peak and where they can just get away with whatever. I would like to see right. behind the music on what happened at that. Like, yeah, right, look, okay, man, we need a song. Who's got something. Dude, uh, we got 15 dude, minutes. Dude, I printed the lyrics. Cause I, I'm like, I, I, I'm listening to it on the, on, on, I'm thinking, is it as bad as I thought? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess this time you're really leaving. I heard your suitcase say goodbye. Well, as my broken heart lies bleeding, you say true love is suicide. That's the opening line. Okay. I did, I, you say you've cried a thousand rivers and now you're swimming for the shore. You left me drowning in my tears and you won't save me anymore. That's poetic, bro. Ooh, I'm praying to God you'll give me one more chance, girl. And then they hit it. And then, then you could just go to, right, I'll be there for you. These five words, I swear to you. <laughs> when you breathe, I want to be the air for you. I'll be there for you. They, they do that five different times <laughs> in the song. And it's like, it's so awful. But it sold a bajillion. And yeah, I'm sure right, there's... Yeah. I'm still there. Some people saying, man, that was my favorite prom song. What are you talking about? <laughs> Especially love toward the end when he's singing, um, you know, I wasn't there when you were happy and they figured, okay, Richie come in there. And then, and then Richie Sam. So, so, so Bon Jovi screeching it. And then Richie Sambor is doing a worse wow, version of it. Wow. And then, no, no, no. He's in the back going, I wasn't there when you were. just like, oh, it's weird. It just, I, I want to see the video when they did that song. And the fact that I'm sitting there driving somewhere in Texas, listening to it going, it's like Dr. <laughs> Seuss. But uh, hey, man, I think they made the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? I think Didn't so. they finally yeah. get in? Yeah. See, hey. I can't get into, like, Journey makes me cringe now. I don't Journey know does? Yeah. Uh, and I, I think part of it is because every, yeah, 
18 the 24 year old thinks that you know journey's like the, the newest band ever um yeah well but i i give you know but the, like i said journey journey stopped existing when perry uh, yeah yeah, perry. yeah. And, and i they, did hear people, separate ways recently and it, it, then i flashed back to yeah and i was enjoying the song and then i flashed back to that video that they did of the song oh, on oh. the yeah on the riverfront in new orleans yes <laughs> oh come on dude no, no instruments dude that's awesome i don't know man that's cheese i love that's that that to me that holds up oh yeah they're just all good good just like um the ragdoll aerosmith did ragdoll in new orleans after one yeah. of their after one of their concerts yeah that's fine man fantastic but like i said journey journey stopped being journey they, they, they they're still yeah, out they're there cover band they're, yeah they're cover band but uh yeah more power to them nobody asked us yeah 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 they nobody giving me them. the money so all right yeah bud i think what you, what you think yeah man, good enough you know we got the chokehold on them they're down on the down on us time to tap out yeah. time to tap time yeah. to push the button y'all See if any of this stuck to tape. How much of it did anyway? We'll find out later. The the, the thunder's rolling behind me, man. Oh, man, we need some rain so bad. Bunch of a couple of old guys called Brown. We need some rain. <laughs> man, my, my water bill my water bill this month is going to be $1,000. With, <laughs> with all the sprinklers. All right, everybody. If you want to reach us, it's Dave and Juan at ProtonMail.com. If you want to do it outside of social media and whatnot. And, man, yeah, we're Juan, doesn't even, yeah, you, Juan doesn't even have to go through all those no, things. No, we're there. Facebook, YouTube, every Fine. humanly possible place where you know a podcast is. But we're yeah. there. Single one. Go there. We're there. We're there. Hmm. How you doing? Good to see so, you. Yeah. Who knows? Next week we may be in more places. Let me show you this call that I got uh -oh. earlier today. Let me see if um if I can find it. Depends how much money's in it, man. We'll move for uh, money. Oh, well, we'll see. Oh, look now. <laughs> we'll we'll move up. for we'll move for twice what YouTube look, is paying. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it. Facebook. Right. Facebook called me today. Facebook called you, huh? Yeah, because I Bro. signed up to do some, yeah, you know, some some courses so we could beef up our advertising. Oh, bro, there you go. Facebook. There you go. Um, so we'll see. They we'll want see. us, man, because we moved the needle. <laughs> Pegging it. <laughs> all right everybody hey look every week we tell you and uh, i hope some of you are listening to it and you should be you should be we're like life coaches why, why would you not we're like we are life coaches it's not a suggestion Forget just a coach we're just we're life <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> speaking of being drunk in the middle of the day geez mm. all right not a suggestion it's not a hint it's not a right it's, we, we aren't alluding yeah, right. to it it's not it's a policy a, you know, query it's a freaking mandate. mandate. Yes, gotta do it. Have no the best week of your life. No, no, no exceptions, no returns, no deposits. Whatever the bar is, get over it. Get over it. All right, and then we'll try to gather again, and we'll do it again next week. I'm thinking Monday sometime, possibly. Yeah, yeah, I'll try for seven if I can get I that. I don't even know why we say it anymore because they got so many of these out there now. Just go find one. Right. Yeah. That's right. Click. Click. It's you know. It's We're there. there. All yeah. the time, and the stuff we talked about six months ago, it's still relevant. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still there. It, it, we may have changed our, may have changed the whole story by then. You never there know. There you go. Yeah, all life stuff. All right, hey, everybody, you have a fantastic one. Love you, bro. Back at you, man. Dude, dude. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> a joke so I this would be an entirely you. this would be an entirely different podcast oh bro if i didn't uh, have if I, if I didn't have to still earn a living oh whenever that happens whenever you and i both retire oh oh, oh it'll be a slightly different podcast